All right, we got another quick wiring tip for you guys. So what we're talking about today is butt connectors. And this is like the classic butt connector and it works. I mean, if you get it crimped well, it'll hold it. But the problem with this is one, it has no corrosion protection. So if you're gonna drive on the street in the rain and the winter with the chem chemicals on the road and the salt, this is gonna corrode. It's gonna corrode the connection. It's gonna corrode the wire. It's gonna ruin the wire. I've, I, I worked on semis for a long time and on trailers, it wasn't uncommon to see corrosion 12 inches back in the wire. So this is definitely not the way to go and we have way better options available today. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the heat shrink or heat seal butt connector. And these work, the way you use them is once we cut out our old butt connector here, you strip the wire back and then you put this on there and you use the insulated portion of your crimpers to crimp it. Which this is a pretty good pair of crimpers and it usually doesn't damage the wire. But what I have seen with these, with crimpers, especially if you can see the smaller area here has a different style. If you have a, that style of crimper, it will actually cut the heat shrink and cause a place for the corrosion to get in here. And I have seen heat shrink connectors with corrosion inside them causing the same problem as these old fashioned ones. So if you're gonna use these, I would recommend getting yourself a set of crimpers specifically designed for heat shrink butt connectors. And this is a set that you can get on Amazon. They're not super expensive. And you just put it in there, put this in, and they're designed so that they don't damage that insulation. Go right down, they make a nice double crimp, won't come apart, and then you can heat seal that. I have a, much cheaper and in my opinion, better alternative to even those. I'm gonna use one of these, but I'm not gonna use it the way that it came. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my vise here and I'm gonna take this connector and I'm just gonna slice it carefully, don't get your fingers, and I'm gonna use the razor blade to push it part way out and then grab a hold of the back of it and use the knife to finish pushing that right out the end. Then once you have the inner piece, you take your wire and you strip it. About a quarter of an inch is all you need to do. Then take a piece of heat shrink, put that on the wire, put your butt connector on there. And if you have this style of crimpers, it has an area for non-insulated. And if you look at this, it's got a split on one side. Can you see that split there? And it's got an indention, to, it's like a center stop on the other side. You wanna make sure that the split is going on the side of the crimpers that has, is rounded right there. Then you put this in here and crimp it. And that works okay. I don't really like using these. I like the style like these channel lock brand ones that I have much better. When you put that in there, same thing goes. It's got the rounded edge and the point. The point goes on the top or away from the split. And then you crimp it and you can see how much better of a crimp those channel lock ones make. Then we slide our shrink, shrink wrap down and this is double wall adhesive shrink wrap, so it's actually gonna glue itself to the insulation here and give you a mechanical bond as well as an electrical bond on this, on this butt connector. Now, once you're done, you need to shrink that and a lighter works in a pinch, but it's much better to use a heat gun. And this heat gun didn't come with this cool little enveloping contraption here, so I had to make one. This is just some sheet metal that I bent up and that, will keep you from burning the wire and you don't have to sit there and try to twist this all around. You can just put it in there, turn your heat gun on, let it warm up, slide it right in there, give it a few seconds. You'll see it shrink down. And then you're done. And it, we can do our heat shrink butt connector the same way.
takes a little longer on those. And as you can see, it heated it all the way around nice and evenly, did not burn the shrink wrap or the wire. As you can also see, doing it this way makes a much shorter connection, which is gonna help if you have to go around a bend or something, because this one's kind of hard to get around a bend. This one's much easier. See you soon.